Hey there, welcome. Today, I'm excited to share one of my favorite weekly staples with you, homemade guacamole. This recipe has so much good going for it. It's delicious, healthy, easy, and also has excellent benefits for your body and skin. For this recipe, we'll be using avocados, limes, tomato, onion, and some optional ingredients like jalapeno, garlic, and cilantro. So first, I like to get the chopping done so it's ready to go. I'll be cutting an onion, tomato, half bunch cilantro, and four cloves of garlic. I like to dice the onion, jalapeno, and garlic fine because they're stronger and I don't want them to overpower the dish. This really does come together fast, so when I'm prepping for a crowd, I like to save guacamole for last because I like to serve it fresh. If you want to add in some heat, throw in jalapenos, adjusting for your taste. Other options that work great are serrano and roasted plebano peppers. Make sure to visit my website, becomingyouwithjulie.com, so you can see all the great skin and health benefits of guacamole, along with some extra ideas and tips. Unless you pick ripe avocados, no matter how good the recipe, it's tough to get it just right. Not all avocados are equal. Don't use avocados that are too soft, too hard, or squishy. What you are looking for is dark green, semi-firm, plump avocados. It's a perfect dip for gatherings like Super Bowl or just a casual night in. It's always been a part of our Mexican-themed movie and food nights. Guacamole offers that little extra something that turns good food into unforgettable food. You're also going to want to pick limes that have some squeeze to them. They offer more juice. So now we're going to open our avocados. We're going to cut them vertically in half. And next, we'll remove the pit, and then we take out the flesh and put it into our bowl. I like using a generous sized bowl so I have a bit of room to work. Now, depending on how you like the texture of your guacamole, a bit rustic or more creamy, you'll either use a fork, masher, or an immersion blender. I like it somewhere in between, so we're going to use a masher today. We're going to mash this before adding the other ingredients so they stay whole. As a health coach and parent, I try to make sure each meal I serve offers some healthy nutrients. It's not about being perfect or rigid, but our daily nutrient intake matters. Next, we'll slice open the lime and add it to the mixture, stirring it in. So whenever there's an opportunity to give my kids something they love and it's packed with nutrients, I include it as often as possible. That's why this dish is a staple in our weekly menu. Next, we'll add our diced ingredients and salt. Give it all a good stir to incorporate those flavors. Taste and adjust to your liking by adding a bit more lime or salt. And that's it. You can serve it in a bowl or molcajete, depending on your mood. Thanks so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more recipes. And don't forget to visit my website for more healthy plant-based recipes, inspiration, and personal stories of resilience and growth. The links are in the description below. Thank you.